Well, new at six with temperatures in the mid 40s today. It may not feel much like Christmas, but clear skies are a good thing considering the FAA is now calling today the peak day for flyers. More than 48,000 flights are scheduled as part of a really busy Christmas week. That's why KDK's Megan Shin is taking us to Pittsburgh International Airport to see how people are making it home for the holidays. It's the holiday dream time with family gathered around the tree and a cozy fire. No matter the traditions, the first step is getting home. So I'm giving you a glimpse at the mission to get home for the holidays. For many, the journey home starts with a line. After parking the car, it's airport time. Three days until Christmas, for some, two flights away. But we'll say over 12 hours. Wondering if everyone makes it home for the holidays. Trains, planes, and automobiles to get there, but it was, it was awesome. A welcome home feeling when safe on the ground. A little sleep deprived right now, but nothing a little alcohol can't fix later. So It feels great. It feels like I need a nap. Tired flyers may rest, but no spirits are down. We get to see my mom, who's 91, uh, still living in at the house we grew up in. It's wonderful. We get to spend time with my family here in Pittsburgh. We're going to cook for them and just spend time sitting around doing puzzles and reminiscing. People young and old coming or going. I'm from the South, so I'm just looking forward to food, you know, food and family and holiday spirit. With time spent here or there, everyone knowing. How does it feel to be at Grandma's house? Fun. Fun fills the air when family's in town. We're bringing all of home to Colorado. No matter where home is, this go around. All six kids, four grandkids, my husband and me, it's going to be wonderful. The holiday spirit is with loved ones homebound. According to Bankrate, 52% of Americans are not traveling and staying already at home after an expensive 2023 year at Pittsburgh International Airport. Megan Shen, KDKA-TV News.